These pen and paper dementia tests date back to the 1940s and are still one of the markers that may be used for diagnosis today. With no single definitive way to confirm the disease, a combination of different tests and investigations are usually carried out by health professionals. Researchers at University College London are testing the possibility of using virtual reality to help with early diagnosis of Alzheimer's disease before it reaches the severe stages of dementia. So we know that in individuals with dementia diseases, there's two components. There's the biological component, which might be detected by a blood test, but there's also the cognitive, the thinking and the memory and the navigation component. And that's the problem we're trying to solve is how do we complement new biological tests with really good cognitive tests that can detect it many years before dementia starts. If you look at the neuroscience of how the disease starts in the brain, it starts in the region that we think is responsible for our ability to navigate. It's also an incredible experience where you get completely immersed in a new environment and the way we've designed it is a really beautiful open field where you can see mountains, you can see pine trees. So we're trying to make it as much of a relaxing process as possible. It's time to go into the virtual world and then I'm going to be navigating my way around. Yes, exactly. From a starting point, the user has to follow the cones and then information from the virtual landscape is removed and they need to find their way back to where they started from. And uh, this is the controller and you will only have to use the trigger button, which is the one... Uh, that one. Yeah. Basically, you are immersed in this virtual environment. There's the one. I'm just going to walk towards the cliff. And as soon as you reach, you stop. I need to remember this spot to come back to later. I'll now go to two. And three. Oh, I'm somewhere else. What's happening now? So basically this time we kept all the uh, ground information as you can notice, yeah. but we removed completely all the distant landmarks. Okay, so, so this is easier for distance, but harder not, for direction. Exactly, that's great, yeah, oh, you goodness. got it. I think it was over here. The tricky bit, trying to get back to cone one. Oh, well, I'm quite close. Y yeah, well. <laughs> well, relatively close. Maybe I'm not that close at all. <laughs> I'm in the right field, I think, yeah. might be as close as I am. Well, I don't know how I did, but it seemed rather challenging. And I've done a lot of VR before, so I'm used to walking around in one of these headsets. I wonder how it would be for someone doing it for the first time for this purpose. Maybe it'd be thoroughly immersive, so it would do the job well. Or maybe it would be a bit distracting and make them feel a bit nervous. I don't know. The test doesn't discriminate based on language or culture. Navigation is something that we all do. We think that this is therefore a test that works across different cultures and regardless of education, language, demographics, but we haven't tested those diverse populations who historically have always been slightly uh, disenfranchised by standard testing and say, well, actually, we can do it. We can apply this well and identify a new too. We are seeing a potential turning point in Alzheimer's detection, though. Virtualeap's latest VR is also being trialled at the Clinica Luciada Salmada in Portugal in the hope that it will help detect cognitive diseases earlier in their tracks. Meanwhile, researchers have been working on blood tests that could uncover the disease long before symptoms emerge. And a global trial has confirmed that a new drug slows down cognitive decline. This means that one day Alzheimer's could become manageable for longer. OK, I'm in a field surrounded by cliffs. These are the first major breakthroughs that the scientific community's seen in the past 20 years. And although they are in their early stages, it gives us hope that one day the impact of dementia may be lessened.